A new study and some scientific experiments show we all might have a better workout if we packed a <laughs> coffee mug in our gym bag. Surgeon and scientist Raul Jandial is here with details on how caffeine may help you hold on to your New Year's resolution for more exercise. We'll get to the Lipitor <laughs> discussion in a second. But wait, we hear, I need you to help us cut through all, all right. of the stuff we hear. Some days it's good for you, some days it's bad for you. Now caffeine is supposed to help in our, in our workout? Well, listen, if you looked at the Olympic Committee, they have 20,000 athletes. 80% had caffeine in the urine. And so what we're finding is people are using this not just for endurance, like cycling and those sort of things, but weightlifters. And we were talking earlier, timing things like dribbling something or shooting something. So people are starting to look at caffeine as a way that maybe regular people can have a cup of coffee before they go to the, the gym as a way to enhance their workout and keep them interested. Well, isn't it also true that in terms of brain power, that I've, <clears throat> I've read that if you're taking a test, it's not a bad idea to have a bit of caffeine in the morning. It is a central nervous system stimulant. That's what gives you the energy. But they're also talking about your muscles. Like you can actually get a few more reps in. And that's just not your nerves, that's actually your muscles. Also, people are thinking about shooting or dribbling a basketball and they're finding people have a little bit more. If you dose it right, not if you have five cups, then you're gonna be too jittery. Well, that was if my next question. Right. What about the dosage? Because you know that when we say this yeah. here, that some guy or <laughs> someone's gonna go thinking, and take I'll have a I gallon of yeah. coffee, please. Exactly. How do, you, how do you know what's the right amount for you? That is a good question and a tricky question. So the catch is, if you drink coffee all the time, having an extra cup before you go to the gym is not going to do much. I know people who actually take one, have a cup of coffee, and go to bed. If you don't regularly use caffeine or coffee, having one cup, 90 to 100 milligrams, can be very helpful before a workout in general. And also caffeine, really, if you don't have an arrhythmia or some heart conditions, it's shown to have some cancer protective things. It's not dangerous for you in low doses unless you're drinking eight cups a day and you have an arrhythmia and that can trigger something. Well, yeah. speaking of dosages oh. and, uh, and Lipitor, and heart, Lipitor. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I made a prime rib roast this Sunday. Oh. It was fantastic. It was full of fat it's the and holidays. salt. I think we had some vegetables. I don't remember. I do take Lipitor. Am I allowed to have as much of that prime rib roast as I want? You're, well, Moderation. the Be medical honest. answer for everybody to listen at home is you're supposed to eat well and take the Lipitor. But I know what you're saying. If you take a lot of Lipitor and you put those little electrodes on your body that are contracting your muscles, you can be buff and yes, healthy on the inside. Yes, lying on the couch eating potato chips. And eat steak anytime you want. Ah, yep. You see there? But, oh, you right, see what he just off said? Off the record. But, <laughs> Doctor, but can Doctor, we also I, talk about the importance of vegetables? Because yes. these two boys are allergic uh, to them. But can I, I ask you, you when you started uh, the segment today, you said the scientific tests on Olympic athletes showed that they had yeah. caffeine. Okay, yeah. but would those results possibly be different for people like Frank and I lying on the less couch, than less than athletic, <laughs> taking Lipitor, and we're just thinking, okay, jolt of, ca jolt of caffeine. No, we don't might throw be doing... me into your boat. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the guy on the couch. You guys yeah. are, you guys are, listen, compared to the patients I see and the random amount of people that I work with, you guys are They're doing, doing okay. good. Doing but okay. a, a cup of coffee might help you not only have a better workout, push through the reps you've decided in your mind you want to do, but actually they're saying you might actually be more interested in returning to that workout. So I've been actually trying it. I have a cup of coffee or espresso and I'm bored. At the end of the day, the last thing I'm going to do is work out. Right. And, I, and I don't want patients and people to think we doctors are judgmental. We have unhealthy doctors. I don't like working out. I know I need to. I know I, know I need to eat better, but the coffee's actually been helping me get in the gym, stay a little bit longer. Instead of doing 10 reps, maybe try to squeeze in 12. Wow. Heart rate has been reasonable, but it's just a sample of one. So is that your doctor example? first. But the takeaway here is oh, eat as no. much eat as red no. meat as you want yeah. as long as you're, you're on, on the medium tour. rare prime rib <laughs> nightly. I think that's what he said. Dr. Yeah. John Dio, it's the holidays. It's the holidays. That's it's the, the holidays. point. Moderation okay, is the indulge. holidays. We'll get back to folks in the new year. For more information on this topic and many others, go to ktla.com slash Dr. John Dio. We will not see you till the new year or will we see you next no, week? We'll see you next year and then, you know, we'll I'm getting on. a year older and then so we'll start a new year You have together. a birthday coming up. Christmas. Christmas. Christmas Day. Really? Birthday? Christmas Day. How happy about that? Birthday. Happy birthday and the happy Lord holidays. And Dr. John <laughs> Merry Both Christmas, born Dr. on the John same Dial. day. How uh. about that? Do you kind of get, you don't really get a Christmas gift. That kind of is a birthday gift. No, but I always but have he's a holiday. So oh, I never have true. to work yeah, on my true. birthday. That's but he's good. kind of the gift to the world. He is. Ah, thank you. <laughs> All right. The well, enjoy your gift. day, Dr. John Dial. Still ahead, he's broken many.